Star Wars belongs to everyone who loves this amazing universe. We've all grown up with it. And now, we at DICE have the opportunity of a lifetime to make the Star Wars game that, as fans, we've all dreamt of playing. To stay as true to the films as possible, we went back to where it all began. Visiting the Lucas archives to capture the actual models and props used in the movies was an incredibly emotional experience. There's so much love and detail in these pieces that we want to get into the game. But to immerse players in iconic Star Wars battles will take more than just authentic weapons and vehicles. We went to the original movie locations, not just to capture the environments, but the emotions they invoke as well. The early results are truly spectacular. We have an experienced team, an extraordinary collaboration with Lucasfilm, and some of the best technology in the industry. But above all, it is our passion for Star Wars that will bring this legacy to life like never before. And as someone once said, do or do not, there is no try. Welcome everyone to the Electronic Arts E3 Preview Show coming to you from the Shrine Expo Hall in Los Angeles. We're live on Spike TV, we're streaming around the world and we're ready to kick off E3. So thanks for joining us today and thanks to the team at DICE for starting us off with a look at one of our most ambitious new games, Star Wars Battlefront. Over the next hour, we've got a dozen new experiences that are being built by creative teams with a love for games. For the people who matter most, our players. We're doing the show a little differently though, so let me set the stage. We've got games here today that are just a few months from being done, and with others, we'll go behind the scenes. We'll see early designs, concept visuals, and raw prototypes of just some of what's to come over the next few years. We'll explore interesting worlds, epic landscapes, and ridiculous action. We'll also hear thoughtful reflections on what's inspiring the future from some of our most passionate creative leaders. Everything we've got for you here today is tied together by a common thread, a commitment to put our players first, a commitment to create amazing games, Games that connect, inspire, challenge, and entertain us. A commitment to lead with creativity and innovation, imagining new ideas for a new generation. And a commitment to listen to you. It's about putting the games into your hands and inviting you to help us make them better. This is the foundation for electronic arts and the inspiration behind what we have for you here today. So. Let's jump into the world of Dragon Age Inquisition and then, and then an early glimpse inside two more new projects from our very talented storytellers at Bioware.
Sharkova, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> All the feels. Oh, I gotta settle down. That was beautiful. Thank you for an amazing opening. Dragon Age Inquisition marks the beginning of the next generation of Bioware games, where we'll combine powerful narratives with expansive open world gameplay so you can explore and discover with more freedom than ever before. In Dragon Age Inquisition, you step into a world on the brink of chaos as the Inquisitor. Your past and motivations are shrouded in mystery. The choice in how to proceed is yours. You'll assemble a team of unique and powerful heroes and lead them against the forces of evil. Together, you'll become legends in the Dragon Age. You'll have a choice in how you lead your team into the heat of battle, and we're going to give you a taste of that today. One way to approach combat puts you right into the heat of the action. As you're about to see, playing this way gives you the ability to take control of different party members. You can use their skills to help you succeed in battle against the apex predator of our world, a high dragon. has brought them from across the world. Blackwall, a Grey Warden will be no stranger to giving his life in defense of others. And this war may ask it from all of us. Sarah, a wild card who draws strength from the common, not halls of power. As passionate and reactionary as the groundswell she brings. Kunari mercenary strong enough to overcome anything except the life he left behind. Vivian, a mage with both ambition and incredible power. But what is her true agenda? The time has come for us to stand together. Whatever we were before, we are now the Inquisition. and they'll last forever. So at Bioware, we try to make that the heart of what we're doing. You know, you really bond with these characters, you remember them, you remember the story long after you've played it. This isn't just a story that I want to tell, uh, it's a story that is to be discovered. It's interactive narrative. As we start designing the next Mass Effect game, we start by asking fans what they want, you know, and what Mass Effect means to them. One of the things that fans have told us most about what they want in the next Mass Effect game is to go somewhere new and to move forward. New places, new characters, um, new people to fall in love with. We're taking you to a whole new region of space. This world is so vast that you can just kind of continue on to the horizon. There's more and more experience for the player to enjoy. Pick a planet across the other side of the galaxy and fly there and see what, what you'll discover. Imagine what we can do now with the power of new consoles and amazing software. It all looks fantastic. We've never seen these characters this real before. We think fans of the series are going to be surprised at just how far we're going. studio is working on the next Mass Effect game, our team here in Edmonton is developing a completely new IP. It's a chance to have clean sheet design and start from the most fundamental principles you can have. 
We want to take on very contemporary stories, and yet we want to build a world that is as big and as imaginative as everything we've done before. It starts off with baby steps. What are the environments? Uh, what are cities like? What are characters like? So we're trying to build a, a fictional world that feels real and is alive and is constantly changing. This is what the world is doing right now. Come and play. At BioWare, we're building worlds and journeys for the next generation. How far can we go with these new games? Wait and see. I'm Rachel Franklin, and I'm excited to introduce you to the next generation of The Sims. <laughs> Smarter Sims. Sims with real personalities. And the stories you'll tell about these Sims will be entertaining, meaningful, and sometimes a little weird. In previous games, you controlled the mind and body of your Sims. In The Sims 4, for the first time, you control their hearts. Here we are in our create a sim, where you decide what your sims look like, and brand new to The Sims 4, who they are. You define your sims' personality. The traits and aspirations that you choose influence their emotions, how they behave, and how they respond to other sims. So you could make a hot-headed athlete who loves literature, or a romantic nature lover with a touch of insanity. You have so many possibilities at your fingertips, so many Sims to create. The Sims 4 features lively, vibrant neighborhoods, rich communities where anything can happen. This is a deep simulation where every Sim has their own story, and they're all connecting, colliding, and influencing each other's emotions. So the local gym is a great place for me to show you how personality and emotions influence your gameplay. You can tell how your sims are feeling at a glance. Happy. Depressed. Energized. So let's meet Chuck. I've made him a hothead, so he's already prone to flying off the handle. And I can push him even further. So today he's really fired up and he's working out those abs. Well, how did I get him into this state? It all kicked off last night when I introduced Chuck to Gladys, his rather eccentric neighbor. I made Chuck recite some of his poetry, but I haven't leveled up his skills yet, and frankly, his poems suck. So this is when the power of our simulation comes into play. Personality drives behavior, creating richer stories. And in this case, Gladys hates Chuck's poems so much she decides to get physical. Oh, Gladys. Losing really ruined Chuck's night, and he's still mad about it the next day. Now, I feel bad for Chuck. Let's cheer him up. And what better way to do that than by throwing a party? So it looks like it's working. The neighborhood's shown up, and Chuck is now feeling playful. He's cracking jokes. He's becoming the life of the party. Uh-oh, here's Gladys, and she's still looking for a fight. Her foul mood is affecting everyone else. I need to inject a dose of fun to this party, and I know just how to do it. I leap into the all-new gallery to look for something special. It's full of wonderful homes and sims created by other players. And for the first time, you can share their sims complete with their full personalities. I can bring another player's sim straight into my game. It's that simple. So ladies and gentlemen, meet Princess. Now the party's really booming. And check out those dance moves, huh? Chuck's having so much fun, he can't stop laughing. I'm pushing his emotions to the extreme. In fact, he is laughing so hard, he dies of laughter. So where else can you find moments like this? The Sims 4 is unlike anything we've ever made. These new smarter Sims are full of personality and humor, and the possibilities when you play with life are simply endless. We invite you to create your own weird stories on September 2nd, when you'll get to play with the next generation of The Sims. Welcome to a world of exceptional Sims, where Sims with new emotions connect 
and collide for the first time. They're smarter with big personality. You create them, you control them. Their stories are yours to tell. They are friends, they are family, they are neighbors. These are all new Sims. Create their stories and play with their lives like never before. Oh, it can crash. Be water, my friend. You know, the Gracies were, were, were founding fathers of the actual UFC, but I think the sport of mixed martial arts was started by Bruce Lee. I think he was one of them guys that made martial arts mainstream. Um, before the UFC, before you know any of this stuff was about, guys wanted to be Bruce Lee. Just a magnificent, extremely powerful being. He's someone that that I strive to, to be like, you know, and it, it just makes you feel powerless because no one's going to be like Bruce Lee, no matter how much you study or how much you know or how much you strive to be that type of person. He's just a truly extraordinary, one-of-a-kind individual. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Ordinarily, I would agree with pretty much anything John Jones has to say about fighting. After all, he is the UFC light heavyweight champion, and I am a five foot eight game developer that shouldn't be in his weight class. But he did get one thing wrong. This year in EA Sports UFC, anyone can be like Bruce Lee, virtually speaking, of course. And whether you're playing as Bruce Lee or John Jones or GSP, the team at EA Canada has been working hard for two years to make it the most awesome experience we possibly can. So let's jump into a, the fifth round of a battle between Bruce Lee and the prodigy BJ Penn and see what I'm talking about. You can see both fighters are rendered in tremendous detail and the effects of the previous four rounds are evident on their legs, their midsections, and their faces. My strategy if I was facing Bruce Lee or anyone really would be to run out of the octagon, but BJ Penn is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, so he's gonna look to take the fight to the ground. Big takedown. I'm sure he's gonna start trying to set up a submission here for some big elbows. And here we go. He's gonna start locking in what's called a mounted triangle submission, which I'm sure sounds like a lot of fun, but trust me, it's not. But Bruce Lee is no slouch on the ground. He's gonna manage to escape and get the fight right back to the feet where he wants it. But BJ Penn is a two division UFC champion. He's not afraid to go toe to toe with anybody. But here we have Bruce Lee's fists and feet of fury starting to uh, take a toll. And exceptional athletes can do exceptional things. Like jump off the cage and get people in the head. BJ Penn's got the heart of the champion, but the brain of one of our producers right now. And that means good night. I don't think he's getting up from this one. Let's take another look at the huge kick. No. And that's just a quick look at EA Sports UFC. We can't wait for you guys to feel the fight for yourselves when the game drops next week. Thank you. Great job, Brian. Man, that game looks amazing, and I love to play it. For this past year, everyone's been asking me the same question. What will change in the NHL franchise when it finally comes to the PS4 and Xbox One? My answer, almost everything. Starting with a new generation of hockey player, one that comes alive with intensity, athleticism, and emotion. NHL 15 will also give you more control than you've ever had to embarrass your friends and truly create those amazing highlight reel goals. We've put physics on all 12 players and the puck, bringing a new level of toughness and unpredictability to every game you play. And beyond the ice, NHL 15 brings the energy of the sport to life in the most detailed arenas we have ever built. This is the beginning of a new generation of hockey. And on behalf of the team back at EA Canada, I'm extremely proud to give you your first look at actual gameplay in motion. This is NHL 15.
Thank you to the teams on UFC and NHL. Two new awesome games from EA Sports. Now, if you know me at all, you know I have a passion for fast things, especially cars. Inside EA Studios, we have a different way of thinking about speed today. For us, it's all about getting to the fun fast. We are changing the way we create. New tools and new ways of working allow us to explore more game ideas than ever. With this, we can bring a new feature, level, or environment to life in a matter of days or weeks and actually feel how fun it is. Now, some of these ideas will work and others won't, but the ones that make it into our games will be awesome. Who better to show you what I'm talking about than the guys at Criterion Games? They know a thing or two about speed. Now listen, we don't typically show things this early, and let's be clear, this is early. But it's also very cool. And let's be honest, we all know that there's no way we can keep this a secret anyway. At Criterion, we come from a world predominantly experienced through cars. It's time for us to explore new adventures. Imagine what that could be. So with Criterion, it's all about the experience. Our history is in cars, going really fast and taking big risks. High action, kind of physical, speed, danger, huge crashes. Crashing's cool. <laughs> This is a new era for Criterion. We've reinvented our office. We've taken away any individual desks. The whole team now is really agile and able to work together in really flexible ways. Occasionally, we work from the pub. <laughs> when we're ready for build review, we get in front of the screens and we play the game. Play the game, figure out a new change that needs to be made, build it, and then within about five minutes, play the game again. Because in our experience, the more times we go through that, just the better the game gets. So this new IP gives us the ability to move beyond cars, which is just so exciting. We've got ATVs, we've got helicopters, we've got boats, we've got wingsuits, we've got parachutes. Crazy combinations of vehicles and jumping over each other, through each other, under each other, tied together. What's the most exciting thing I can do in a plane on a jet ski? There's not a single vehicle that we've talked about that I don't find exciting. Really been inspired by what we've seen people sharing in the real world. That the first person views the movies that they take are almost like athletes' point of view. We've absolutely been influenced by all the amazing action footage that people are capturing and putting on YouTube. This is a first person game. We're not going to ever take you out of that. So if you get in a vehicle, you're going to climb in the vehicle. Your hands are actually going to touch these things. And it means an expanded landscape. So many different types of terrain that we've never been able to explore before. Our players can go anywhere, they can make any experience they want. You're walking around our world and you're just looking at the vehicles and the scenery it's, it feels epic it really is an ultimate game for us it's a criterion game so it's going to be fun this is going to be the biggest game criterion's ever made criterion is looking at things differently and EA, at ea sports we are too so today, I want to share a couple of cool things coming out of Tiburon. First, our golf franchise has had a rich history of delivering authentic golf along with fun fantasy courses. But there's always been limits to where you could go and where you could, what you could do. Now, for the first time ever in a sports game, we're leveraging Frostbite 3. EA Sports PGA Tour will allow you to experience real-world courses in stunning detail while also pushing the boundaries of golf to places you've never been. With no load times between holes and fully rendered environments that let you explore every inch of the course, this is golf without limits. side to close up a running lane, or you can push him forward to disrupt the pocket. You can shed a block or use a pass rush move to break free and take down the QB. And open field tackling has always been a challenge. 
So we've redesigned how you make a tackle to get more consistent results. A tiered tackle cone makes it easier to zero in on the ball carrier and set up the appropriate attack. Conservative tackles are the most reliable, giving you the greatest chance to take down your opponent. Or you can take a risk with an aggressive tackle, but it'll take more skill. Up close, you can pull off a big hit. Further away, you can dive towards the ball carrier to stop him in his tracks. Look, I could go on and on about all the defensive improvements in Madden 15, but here's the point. You're going to have more control on defense than ever before. Now, instead of feeling like a liability on defense, you're going to have a lot more fun. We also want you to feel the intensity of the NFL. So we've added hundreds of new player emotions and reactions. These play out in real time on the field, replacing old scripted scenes. And we've paired them with a new set of dramatic presentation cameras, all directed by an Emmy award-winning cinematographer from NFL Films. If you watch NFL Films like I do, you know they're the best in the world at showcasing the emotion of football. And now, you'll experience that in Madden 15. For those of you at E3 this week, we invite you to come play it. And to everyone else, you can experience it firsthand when Madden 15 launches on August 26th. Let me tell you a story about the other side of the ball. Since the beginning, they've always been the last line of defense, the protection, the safety net. The best defenses aren't just a net. They become more than that. Way more than that. The steel curtain. The fearsome foursome. And now the legion of boom. They all had one thing in common. They shut down their rivals by imposing their will. Make that transformation. Shed every block. Defend every pass. Make every tackle and don't give them an inch. Now it's in your hands. So what are you going to do? Matt, NFL 15. If we're going to do MOBA, we don't just want to clone. We knew we were coming out of nowhere, and we knew that the people who liked MOBAs were super diehard. We put it in the players' hands at a very early stage, and we were just kind of like, we're going to build this in front of you guys, and whatever you tell us about this, we are going to hear it, whether we like it or not. It's just a constant dialogue with our players, and Dawngate is constantly getting better for it. MOBA stands for Multi-User Online Battle Arena. For Dawngate, what we've done is broken down the genre to its component parts and built a new game that doesn't just clone the classic MOBA, but builds on it by focusing on a flexible metagame. But the metagame in Dawngate is based around your particular team composition, the roles your team is choosing. So the game is going to play different every single time, allowing you and your team to genuinely try new strategies. It allows them to basically play any of these characters that they really identify with in any position in the game. When we set out to make Dawngate, really what we wanted was characters who were fighting for a purpose. All of the characters that you play, the map that you're playing on, has been conceived of in a massive epic story arc that's really just kicking off with the players. Salus, he's a character who I love to play. He's sort of a lizard monk, very zen. There is a little spirit wisp dude. I love the design of that guy. Big guys with axes and armor and skulls. I like that a lot. So I like supports, 100% the best. I like making supports and playing supports the best. I really like that we have a whole section of the world that's devoted to badass bookish nerds. And I like books. Dude, if you can't geek out about something, uh, uh, we're probably not going to have a good time hanging out. We built this team specifically to make this game, to make Dawngate. We're a group of hardcore MOBA players, so we knew if we were going to make something awesome for our players, it had to be awesome for us. The sky's really the limit. Dawngate has been designed to entertain you. The opportunity is there for us to go wherever we want, so long as it makes sense for the player.
This is an amazing time to be making games. But it's really an amazing time to be playing games. Every year at E3, I'm inspired by the energy that surrounds this industry. I love the cool innovation and creative thinking, but I also love the conversation. For a lot of us, it's the first time we have a chance to come together and interact. So, we hope you like what you've seen so far today. And now listen, I'm a little biased, but I think we're doing some pretty cool stuff. So tell us what you think, challenging us to create the best, most amazing experiences. We embrace the honest and open dialogue. As I said at the outset, we're doing things differently, but not just for today. We want to invite you in early to share new concepts, to let you know what's inspiring the new games you'll see down the road. This is our commitment to put players first. Have a little faith. We're not done just yet. We've got a couple more games to go. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Research is about mastering the environment, and research is about faith. Here is where I started, in the simplest building blocks of faith. And that would be the white, the red, the blacks. And of course, we kept the glove that in itself is iconic for her. The silent tone of the game implies that everything we do needs to be elegant, minimalistic, and it has to have a certain attitude. Where we use colors, the accents are very specific and controlled. That's where the attitude comes from. Her body needs to reflect her life, what she does, who she is. Faith's physicality and, and freedom of movement is interesting in contrast to a very conformist society. Faith and the runners, they've chosen to sort of step outside of this world voluntarily. I admire her independence, her integrity, her daredevil ways. She's a runner. She's very strong. The overall look should give them a sense that, well, you shouldn't mess around with Faith. Mirror's Edge is a game that's focused very heavily on movement. We've had parkour artists come in, talk to us. They can teach us a lot about the moves that we have in the game and how we can also expand on it. We're building on the first Mirror's Edge when it comes to the moveset that Faith has. Everything is geared towards traversing and navigating this environment. We want the player to be able to experiment and find different paths in the environment. You know that you can get there, but how? And that's when you explore, you know, not just the environment, but also what is it that Faith can do. So for the skilled player, they might find the quickest, the fastest, the most rewarding path for them. Somebody with less skill might find a safer, a longer route. It's important for us that everybody who wants to play the game can play the game. And not only are we building a broad moveset, we're also building combat with the moveset in mind. You would analyze the geometry in a combat encounter to, to see how you can use that against the enemies. When we talk about combat, we are selecting very special sounds for that. We're having very tight, controlled hits. They kind of speak about Faith's power and efficiency because she is a projectile. Whenever she does hit, she hits quick, fast and hard and then moves on. We are redefining the role of the runners to allow for more varied gameplay, for more varied experience. We will expand on who she is in this world. Why is she doing what she's doing? What's her reason for being Faith? This is a girl that actually tattooed her eye. You will feel the game. Emotion touches everything we're showing you today. Incredible visuals that blur the line between the virtual and the real and explode out of turns. And our new ball physics system models movement depending on precise contacts with the ball. It's creating astonishingly realistic trajectories and spin. You'll feel the physicality of the sport in man-to-man -man battles, full body defending, shirt pulling, shoulder barges and possession tackles fundamentally change the way you compete for the ball. And we have created the next generation football player. Athletic, lean and stunningly realistic. You'll not only feel their athleticism, you'll see it too. FIFA 15 will have atmosphere that you can feel. The Poznan at Etihad Stadium, the frenetic energy at La Bombonera, the cop at Anfield. Feel immersed in these iconic theatres of sport. Witness the sights and sounds that make you feel just like you're there. On the pitch, boots will leave their mark. Hard slide tackles will tear the turf and kits will get dirty. 
ad boards animate, corner flags will move, and goal frames clatter on impact. The entire stadium is alive and packed with emotion. All of this adds up to a FIFA experience where you'll feel the emotion, intensity, and athleticism of football. There's much more news to come before we launch this fall. This year, you will feel the game. Football is the greatest drama on earth. This is our stage, our theatre. I was born into it. Others were adopted. But we're all connected. If you don't believe we're family, you haven't felt what we felt. Agony. Tension. Heartbreak. But that moment, when it comes together just right, words cannot describe. But this isn't fiction. This is real life. Our life. The stages are real. We can feel them, experience them. They come to life. These leading men take the ball, take the man, and take their place as legends. Our heroes run through walls to ignite our imagination. An entire season changes with one kick, one bad decision, one slip. But one magic moment lives in our hearts forever. for these moments we are these moments this is more than a game this is football FIFA 15 feel the game Today, we're introducing Battlefield Hardline. It's a new game that puts you right in the middle of the war on the streets between cops and criminals. When Carl Magnus and I first met several years ago, we talked about what would eventually become Hardline. He loved Dead Space, and I was playing a ton of Battlefield 3. We started to think about ways we could work together. We talked about expanding Battlefield to new worlds with new weapons and new ways to play. Three years later, and here we are today. Cops and criminals, good guys versus bad guys, this is the foundation of Hardline. Now, we're always exploring new directions for the Battlefield franchise, but only if the ideas make for great games and only if we have really passionate teams that want to build them. And of course, whatever we build needs to stay, needs to stay true to Battlefield's core values. So Steve and his awesome team at Visual started out by building uh, Endgame, which was actually one of the X-Packs for Battlefield 4. Sorry, Battlefield 3. Uh, they learned what fans love about Battlefield multiplayer, which is team play, strategy, lots of vehicles, open battles, and of course, destruction. Visual is also well known for storytelling and are bringing a fresh approach to Hardline's campaign. It's much more like a great TV crime drama than something allowed of a traditional shooter. But of course, at the, at the core of every Battlefield games needs to be an amazing multiplayer experience. Now let's check out some of the gameplay footage from a 32-player match in Heist. This is an all-new mode where the criminals are trying to make off with the loot and the cops are trying to stop them. 
So let me paint a picture for you. It's a normal day in downtown LA. Then all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. Alarms are going off. An armored truck has been taken out. SWAT teams are swarming the scene. You'll see this battle from multiple perspectives. This is cops versus criminals. This is hardline multiplayer. Let's take a look. Biggest planet cracker in her class. Sure, why not? Pretty quiet day so far. Breaking news. A heist is underway in downtown Los Angeles. The target? Armored trucks. Sky 5 News is reporting live from the increasingly chaotic scene. Gentlemen, let's get cracking. We got a heist to pull. Suspects are armed and dangerous. Backup is needed. Code 3. Cops, run on the grid! Someone pinned down! Tell me out here!
to remain silent. Thank you. The team's been working really hard. Now, if you're a gamer like me, you don't want to watch games. You want to play games. We're about to do something we've never done before. We're going to launch a beta of Battlefield Hardline today. Go to Battlefield.com to sign up for a chance to get into the closed beta on PC and PlayStation 4. It's first come, first serve to get instant access. And here's Adam Boys from Sony to give you more details on a cool new way you can get into the beta on PlayStation 4. Thanks, Steve. Game looks amazing. I've been a huge Battlefield fan for a long time. My brother and I used to play a lot of Battlefield Vietnam back in the day. So it's a huge honor to be here. Our team at PlayStation could be more excited to bring you the hardline beta to PS4 today. Battlefield owners can simply turn on their console, highlight your copy of Battlefield 4, and then click on the live tile to download the hardline beta and play it in its 1080p 60fps glory. It's really easy. But you have to get quick, because this uh, incredible console exclusive experience won't last long. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> We've got a, work, a lot of work left to do over the next few months, so your feedback at this early stage is huge as we build towards our release on October 21st. While you're waiting for the beta to download, check out Battlefield Hardline on Twitch right after the show. We have 32 Battlefield players live streaming the game on PlayStation 4 from a rooftop in downtown Los Angeles. And right here at the Shrine, we have 64 PlayStation 4s for you to play after the show. All right. So let's start E3 off right. For everyone at home, on the rooftop, and right here at the Shrine, the Battlefield Hardline Beta is live! All right, let's play some games. That's our show, everybody. Thanks for watching, and have a great E3. Rock steady, baby, won't you kiss my cheek?